Hi guys, so I believe that crooks, liars and charlatans should be called out whenever they raise their ugly heads. Now, I say that because I believe that they wish to pour poison into the ears of the general public and in particular the poor and the working class in order to convince them to vote for policies that are against their own interests. Now, this is Daniel Hannan. Daniel Hannan wrote this comment back on the 20th of September last year, not that long ago, just before the US presidential elections. He said, Trump's flaws are many, but he'd be better for Britain than Biden. Now, <laughs> Trump's flaws are many. Yeah, flaws, I, I would say they're a bit more than flaws. Trump is an absolute disaster. But let's see what he said just a few months later. On the 10th of January this year, he said, Donald Trump is guilty of treason. Political violence in a democracy is never justified. So, He's gone from praising Donald Trump to criticizing him and saying that you know he's guilty of treason and that political violence is never justified. You see here that these people just are political opportunists. They see Trump as something they can use and then as soon as Trump is no longer useful to them, they throw him away like an old mask. Now, let's just have a look at Daniel Hannan himself. Now, this is on his Wikipedia page. It says here um, that he's a British journalist, a writer, former member of the Conservative Party. In December 2020, it was announced that he, um, he would be conferred a life peerage after nomination by Boris Johnson. Um, I just want to go down where it says here about, well, he was also a member of uh, Vote Leave. He's a Brexiteer, hardline Brexiteer. Um, he has made some comments in the past, for example, in, in regard to UKIP in spring 2020, in 2012, ha uh, Hannan suggested in a da Daily Telegraph article that an accommodation could be made between the Conservative Party and UKIP. Um, on the Good Friday Agreement, writing in the Daily Telegraph once again, uh, Hannan has argued that while the Good Friday Agreement was often spoken about in quasi-religious terms, its flaws have become clearer over time. Hannan's account of the Good Friday Agreement has been criticised as factually uh, inaccurate and reckless. Um, he's another one of these people who d doesn't take uh, the pandemic seriously. He's, and then we have um, his comments on Enoch Powell. Uh, Hannan provoked criticism in August 2009 when he when it emerged that he had praised uh, the conservative politician Enoch Powell as somebody who understood the importance of national democracy, who understood why uh, you need to live in an independent country and what that meant, as well as being a free marketer and a small government conservative. So <laughs> just square that with this comment. Donald Trump is guilty of treason. Political violence in a democracy is never justified. You have to understand that these people are charlatans. They're crooks. They're liars. They will use whatever they can to promote their ideology or to promote themselves. They will lie to the public. They will pour poison in people's ears and convince them to vote for policies that are against their interests. He's a Brexiteer, he's a charlatan, and he has said some dangerous things in the past. And now he's a member of the House of Lords. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?